thank you very much for joining us in today's conversation. My name is Deborah Namgenyi. I work with Asante Africa Foundation as the Gender Programs Coordinator. I'm Sambuka Gassi, a teacher by profession and a teacher mentor at Wukuya Senior Secondary School, Kasanda District. And I got associated to Asante Africa in 2019 when I first had a summit in Naro. My name is Bessie J. Innocent, and I work with the Asante Africa Foundation as the digital transformation leader. My name is Kansina Rosette. I'm 17 years of old. I am in senior two class. I am a former student at Shimbogo City Secondary School, and now I'm at Nyakasura School. I'm Wasige Mark. I'm a student of Fonda City Secondary School in Chinchua District. I'm 16 years old and I'm in senior two class. The community learning groups were formulated way back due to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, whereby before we had our school-based clubs, we had system members, those were our beneficiaries. But when COVID-19 outbreak came up, we had to form the community learning groups in various communities, whereby under the directive of the government, we had to formulate few numbers that we had 15 per community, we started by small. So as we continued with the community learning groups, they kept on growing bigger, to bigger. As per now we have, we, we have a hundred in different communities. And the community learning groups were developed to facilitate our beneficiaries with the national curriculum of Asante Africa, and also to enhance their learning, whereby teachers were hired and then they were facilitated to teach our beneficiaries and also given the scholastic materials. And all this was done by Asante Africa Foundation. We really appreciate Asante for helping our beneficiaries in various communities and to give them hope to learn and also to have hope that there's time to come, we shall go back to school. For the visible changes that are in our communities, now we have the income generating activities. We have our beneficiaries have formulated the, the income generating activities. Take an example, we have a liquid shop whereby they sell their liquid soap and then the girls are making sanitary parts and they sell them to their fellow girls. And this has also facilitated the girls to remain at school the, the day before girls would just drop, maybe would just exempt themselves from school. They go start home because of the menstrual period. But through the community learning group and the skills that they, they got, they are able to make those sanitary parts and they make them to stay in schools. And others are having bigger projects in their different communities and it is encouraging. And you have one experience of a, of a student who reached an extent of buying the idea to the family and how their project is expounding and having a poultry project in their home and it's helping the young ones in their family. So that has been a very pivotal role that was done. Everyone knows in Uganda, we had one of the longest lockdowns in regards to education. Uh, I'm saying education because almost all the services were almost a cold, grounded, transport, education, so many things. So when we come to the line of education and learning, uh, students were at home and learning was almost on a standstill. There are two groups of people. We have the people who are the, in the urban areas, the haves, and the people who are in the rural setting. They don't have. So what I mean is people in the urban areas, the students, they have access to the gadgets. They know, know how to use them and they can catch on, catch up with uh, continuous learning. But you come back to our areas where we have the vulnerable students. They have no access to the internet. They have no gadget. Continuous learning is nowhere. So this is where Asante Africa came in with a solution to facilitate continuous learning during this pandemic. 
So to be specific, it worked hand in hand with the government representative offices in the region, the two regions, to make sure that this becomes a reality. So technically, uh, tablets and laptops were introduced to these community learning centers that were adopted and formulated. And it is through this that we came even to learn more. These rural students or participants, beneficiaries, didn't know how to use these gadgets. They were seeing them for the first time. This was a convention they really gave us. So we had to do an oriental training to make sure that at least to start with, they know how to use these gadgets. So technology through Asante, Asante Africa Foundation has brought a lot of insight and everyone is embracing it. The future is very, very bright with technology as, I, as, uh, as we stand right now, uh, education and learning is going digital. Cut us over Asante Africa Foundation. Uh, I am an I'm a Sant Africa Foundation alumni that I joined in 2021 during lockdown in the community learning group. Uh, in during lockdown, community learning groups kept me safe. When a Sant Africa 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 Foundation held. A meet a, a, a training with the district people who were in touch with the women's and the children's rights. This training kept opening my eyes. Um, I was be I was being married by my stepfather. And because of this training, told to me about children's rights and how how we can care for ourselves. We together the Santa Africa Foundation Community Learning Group. They look from a safe place where where I stayed and they reassured, reassured, reassured me from that place and took me and they took me at the school called the Gate of Hope Foundation. Uh, I stayed there until the school resumed. And even right now I'm still at the school. Really, I'm very happy to see that I'm going to fulfill my dream of being a doctor. How we can change our parents' mindsets. Uh, as Asante Africa Foundation, we have the, fa the family engagement model where we engage our parents and their children into their education and their life. Through this, uh, through this engagement model, we are in position to share with uh, the parents on how we empower them on how to have positive parenting mindset. For example, you need to support a girl child. Some parents have a negative attitude towards girl child education. And uh, through this family engagement model, we are in position to change the mindsets of our parents. They are in position to understand that even a girl is in position to achieve what a boy can achieve. So through these engagements, we are in position to address uh, challenges that children would face and also to see that uh, parents have a positive mindset towards their children's education and achieve their dreams. way back during the COVID lockdown and that extended lockdown on education, uh, just like Deborah said, we had parental engagement meetings. But one most exciting fact is that uh, some parents' compounds were used as uh, community learning center, uh, or, or community learning centers, where these people would meet and uh, do their lessons so by doing this, it simply means that the communities or the parents love their children attaining education and acquiring skills because they were able to offer safe spaces where they could continue learning. And this also proved to us as an organization 
that education can take place anywhere beyond the four corners of the classroom by the fact that the parents were able to support the kids to study in their compounds and also uh, some of them provided meals which used uh, which supported the children as they were learning in their compounds in the south africa foundation they teach us to become change agents in our homes communities and change this world into a better place the business we began in our school, which is Ufunja City Secondary School, was a partnership business and was a school canteen that we managed well and operated successfully. In the South Africa Foundation, they do teach us a lot of things. And from the study of leadership, entrepreneurship, communication, finance, which includes budgeting, and among others, we, we gained entrepreneurship skills. And with the help of our leadership and entrepreneurship incubator coordinator and our teacher mentor, we were encouraged to apply those skills so as to improve on our well being and promote those skills, finally, pay it forward. Through the entrepreneurship skills we gained as a club, Mufunja Seed Entrepreneurs Club, we came up with an idea to start up a business at our school. When we looked around our school, there was a challenge of outsiders coming in to sell eating drinks and other items to students. And as a club, we thought this was an opportunity for us to utilize. And we agreed to start up a business. By doing this leadership skills, we are being, we are being applied. Through our teacher mentor, we presented our idea of canteen to the head teacher requested him to allow us to operate within the school. He also appreciated the idea. He gave us space where to construct our structure within the school. I feel like doing this, we are applying negotiation skills and he had truly helped us a lot. After this, we again sat as partners in business, made a budget. We elected the committees that will handle finance, procurement, and the treasurer. Then we agreed as partners to contribute in order to raise up the startup capital of our business. Then it was agreed that each member to contribute 5,000 shillings for the startup of our business in order to raise the money, which gave us 100,000 for 20 active members. And by that, we got the money for the startup of our business. the way forward for the community learning groups and also for our adolescents i strongly believe that uh, we need to continue supporting the girl child by creating a safe environment safe space for them take for example the example of rosette where she has shared her story with us it is through sensitization in their rights that she was in position to stand up and uh, be in position to be rescued from being married though. So we need to continue sensitizing the community, our adolescents on uh, understanding their rights and also their responsibilities. We also need to bridge the gap that is existing in the rural communities. We need to see that uh, our rural adolescents are in position to access digital tools. They are also learning the digital literacy skills. And we cannot do this minus supporting them, acquiring this, these skills or bridging the gap that is there. We need to see that they get, they have access to the tools, the tablets, and also they learn the skills. When they get these skills, they will be in position to uh, thrive more in life, be in position to explore more opportunities using the digital transformation. We also need to see that we empower the youth more through creativity and innovation. For example, what Mark has just shared, the idea of the canteen is very, very important. And he's getting all these skills through empowerment in the various programs. Like for example, those of Asante Africa Foundation. So we need to see that more youth are being empowered with these skills of uh, entrepreneurship and leadership, that they are in position to become the change agents that we are looking at 
in their communities and families. If they are in position to get the profits to address challenges they are facing, for example, be in position to buy something at home, be in position to see that they are getting profits to support their fellow students at schools, or be it anywhere, we shall see that we are having a better world. Like our mission is saying, changing the, the change agents, transforming the world. My way forward is as our mission of our Santa Africa Foundation says that we are the change agents. So I have to I have to change this world. I have to train more girls. As now I am talking, if I say to other girls they can easily hear me and they can understand that this situation is there available. Uh, for me, um, to, um, to train more girls, um, to change the world, and to become a very powerful person in the future. How do we continue uh, supporting uh, programs in Uganda? There are several ways we can contribute to Asante Africa's work. And uh, one of the most direct ways is uh, support uh, through, uh, that is uh, through uh, the reading materials that would support, for instance, knowledge acquisition. Uh, on entrepreneurship, do we have all these resources that would encourage or enhance their skills to acquire? Then others also have uh, companies uh, which are working in Uganda and they can do uh, skills development. So we would really love to see many partners because we work through partnerships and that's how we, we get into making a deeper impact in our communities. So we welcome all those who always want to partner with us and also supporting uh, the cause that fuels the vision and mission of Asante Africa Foundation. <laughs> 